It was an adventure to the end of the earth, a legendary story of endurance, stirring bravery and heartbreaking tragedy. In 1910, Captain Robert Falcon Scott led the Terra Nova ship on an expedition to Antarctica. It was a race against time to beat Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen to the South Pole, but also a mission to gather groundbreaking scientific research on the mysterious southern polar cap. Scott actually gets to the Pole about 35 days after Roald Amundsen, the Norwegian, and uh, then is faced with an 800-mile trek back to base camp. And I think you can imagine uh, the feeling of the five men um, when they realise that they've actually been beaten to the Pole. Scott and his team almost made it back, but in March 1912 they were stranded in their tents by a blizzard and slowly perished. As they lay starving and freezing to death, Scott wrote a moving account of their demise in his journal, currently part of a special exhibition at the Scott Polar Museum in Cambridge. Make no mistake, he was a great hero. Uh, and his party were, were great human beings. Of course, what they discovered, compared with what we know now, this was just the first few little characters in a great book of knowledge that we've acquired about the Antarctic. But they wrote it. And they were the first. Scott, Oates, Wilson, Bowers and Evans have achieved almost mythical status and the centenary of their deaths is being marked by a series of events, including the release of a book of sketches by Edward Wilson, the expedition's chief scientist. If scientists are still working, they will use specimens collected by my great uncle and his team a hundred years ago as their baseline data um, in order to tackle some of the great scientific questions of our day. As Norway celebrates the centenary of Amundsen's victory to reach the Pole, Britain is remembering its polar heroes for their significant contribution to science and to the country's sense of national pride.